this is engineer sadaqat ali and uh, you are watching my youtube channel real time simulation world so today in this video we will uh, discuss about local variables that when we should not use local variables right so for that scenario as we have discussed in our first video of library core 2 uh, that local variables are used to or can be used to share uh, data between parallel loads right so today uh, we will be sharing some data between parallel loops and we will see that uh, what happens when we try to share each point of data using local variables right so let's get started uh, so first of all uh, let me create a, a while loop okay uh, this is my while loop okay all good okay let me create stop button uh, for my this while loop press view as icon and drag this stop button here and let me adjust its size okay all good now uh, uh, let me create another uh, uh, while loop uh, because we need at least two loops Okay, and uh, uh, let me create uh, its uh, local variable and put it over here and convert it and change it to read and connect it with this stop. So now we can control these two loops with a single button, right? Okay, uh, let's say uh, this is my uh, producer loop what it will produce it will produce a sine wave right it will produce a sine wave and this is my consumer loop it will it will be consuming or we can simply say we will uh, generate a particular sine wave here right and we will transfer we will try to transfer each point of data from producer loop to this consumer loop using local variables right so uh, first of all we need to generate a sine wave uh, for that uh, let me press uh, control space so this quick drop uh, will open and i will search here for sine wave okay i will pick this one <clears throat> okay <clears throat> let me uh, let's say uh, the amplitude of the sine wave let me set so first of all uh, right click on this amplitude input and uh, create constant so in this constant one is by default uh, but let me set it to five so the amplitude of our sine wave will be five uh, let me set its frequency so for the frequency let's say uh, it is it is one hertz right one hertz and left the phase and for the time uh, let's say our loop is running or producing a particular data after every 60 milliseconds so for that I need to set the timing of this loop and using wait millisecond, right? And uh, right click on this and create constant, and in this constant, enter 60. So our loop will be this producer loop will be running after every 60 millisecond, or it will produce a particular, uh, you can say. Uh, sample after every 60 milliseconds so this is my loop rate 
60 milliseconds okay all good drag this one here so now in order to generate 60 milliseconds i need to i need to provide it this timing as well right so for the timing uh let me uh, uh let me take here uh multiply function right let me multiply this with this iteration and right click here and enter a constant value of 60 right and divide this 60 so i will go into the numeric and select this divide function okay i will divide the 60 by right clicking go into the constant and enter a thousand so this is my 60 milliseconds and I will connect this here all right now what will happen I will I will I will uh, get a sine wave I will get a sine wave having an amplitude of 5 and frequency 1 Hertz and with a time of 60 milliseconds right now I want to show that the uh, particular data uh, to onto a chart so uh, let me right click on the front panel and move into this graph and select waveform chart right because we want to plot each point uh, each sample generated in this loop to this waveform chart so we are using waveform chart if we are interested to plot uh, uh, group of data like uh, data in the form of an array so we will use waveform graph but we are uh, plotting each point generated each sample at the moment so we need to use waveform chart right now right click this and use icon you can name this waveform chart as uh, the producer data right and connect this one here so uh, let me check uh, whether the data is coming or not so uh, this uh, uh, run button is broken why it's broken yes it's broken because we have created a, a a local variable of this stop button but we haven't changed its mechanical action so let's do uh, right click on this stop button and go into this mechanical action and you can see it's set as latch so set this one as switch okay all good so this will get changed and as dis discussed previously so we have to we have to uh, use a flat sequence structure right and right click on this and create a local variable and uh, put it here and set this before the code starts as false right connect this one here uh, we are doing this, uh, this because uh, uh, whenever you click this stop button it will remain it in that position so if you uh, press this run button what will happen your code will uh, get stopped the same moment so you need to press it again so to avoid that uh, particular scenario what we do we we finalize that uh, uh, local variable so that whenever your code starts uh, the false is written in this local variable right so I'm I'm just checking whether my producer data is coming or not onto this waveform chart so let me run this 
okay so 5 by 5 data you can see the data of 5 by 5 is coming plus minus 5 right auto scale y is uh, pressed all good let me stop this one okay now what we are uh, going to do is to write the data write the producer data uh, the data of the sine wave here into this consumer loop by using local variable so right click on this uh, producer data and go into this create and create a local variable of this one as well right uh, so we want to plot that data onto the waveform chart so what we need to do is to change into this uh, right right so change to okay all good uh, let's create another uh, waveform chart now i'll create a waveform chart uh, uh, from the silver you can use this one as well but this does not uh, looks uh, nice you can you can take uh, from the silver uh, waveform chart so you can compare which look more uh, interesting okay let me move this one a little bit lower you can move this sorry let it be here okay so we have created another waveform chart uh, let me view this icon and uh, write this data into this waveform chart uh, moreover set the loop rate so i will i will just click on this and press control and just drag over here and uh, right click on this and create control over here so that we can uh, manually set uh, the loop rate loop rate of this loop loop rate right so where is this press control you you can find this control over here so let me drag this one over here so let's initially set uh, the loop same as uh, the producer loop so the producer uh, uh, the loop rate of producer loop uh, is same as the consumer loop so let me run this code so you see uh, what is happening is some of the data is getting missed right let me double it let me make it twice you see we are not getting each point of data right we are not getting each point of data but some of the samples are missing the shape of this waveform and the shape of this waveform is not the same right uh, uh, here you instead of uh, uh, setting uh, manually uh, what you can do is to uh, you can you can create a drop down menu for the users okay uh, for that let me let me move this chart a little bit up okay okay and uh, let me delete this one okay press control b to delete unwanted wires okay now uh, i want i want to create a drop down menu for my loop rate uh, to do so what you need to do is to right click on the uh, on the controls go into this uh, ring and enum and select this menu ring right select this menu ring now right click on this menu ring and go into edit items okay 
when you when you come here first of all press this sequential value and check this okay after doing so uh, select uh, here uh, enter the different loop rates first of all uh, same as producer so what is the uh, loop rate of the producer it's 60 milliseconds so enter 60 milliseconds okay uh, let me make it uh, twice means uh, the consumer loop is running faster so twice as producer twice means the loop rate should be uh, half 30 milliseconds right and uh, uh, let me make it uh, uh, 120 milliseconds so it's a little bit slower over half so let me 120 milliseconds okay press ok now you can just click on this drop down menu and select uh, the value you want to uh, select so by default let me select as same as producer uh, you can resize this okay looks good uh, now uh, you can you can name this as loop rate uh, just drag this one here and connect it yes now you can run this <coughs> okay uh, change to twice so this loop is running faster but uh, you can see we are missing missing the data the, the, the shape of the sine wave is not uh, the same as the shape of this sine wave so it means that uh, whenever we try to transfer a data right whenever we try to transfer data between parallel loops and what we want is to send each point of data to from one loop to another loop right, right running in parallel so local variables are not the good choice uh, but uh, instead of this we have other options in live view uh, so we will use them and i will let you know how to use uh, those options so in the next video so till then uh, office and uh, keep watching my youtube channel uh, and do comment as well uh, what course you want to uh, learn right so let me stop this mm -hmm.